Today we're going to kind of be going through what is new with Adobe Firefly. We'll jump straight into text to image just to show you kind of what is new there. So we have our gallery here of all of this artwork. I'm going to jump into this one over on the left hand side. Um, if you've used the product before, we have shifted that panel over. You'll see all of the similar controls that you're familiar with. But this is the brand new one, which is structure reference. And you can see that they kind of utilized this bird outline image and then use that in combination with this prompt. So we'll go into this one here. Let's just browse the gallery and combine this with like a different look. So I'm gonna add like the clouds, this sort of like pink and purple. And we have a prompt. We have a structure reference of the outline with the birds. And then we also have this style reference with the like pink and purple clouds. You can just start to see that it's taken a beautiful combination of those two things. I'm gonna just like start fresh. So I'm just gonna clear out this prompt. I'm going to choose maybe this 3D scene with like a sphere and the square at the bottom. And then I'll type in, let's do flying spaceship science futuristic. Um, okay, so this is great. I have, I mean, this really like centers that again, you kind of have that sphere and you kind of have, so you can kind of get a sense of the structure it was trying to pull in here. Let's go back to like, I don't know. I want to make it a little bit more neon in terms of style. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Okay. What if we, you know, just take again, your, your company logo. And I think this is the easiest thing. It's like, okay, this is the Adobe logo. Can it sort of remix this in a fun way? That's, that's my reference. Strength is scram a cramp, like, Scrammed, scrammed <laughs> all the way up to the to the right hand side. So this is a big bag in universe exploding supernova blast made out of colorful fun. bath soaps. Come on, now, people! <laughs> Look at it's that. It's so fun. Nate. It's so nice. So here I have Substance 3D Stager open. I'm literally, you know, a basic cube that you could jump in, get it the angle that you want, render it out, and then you have sort of your point of view or your perspective. That's when I then take that and I've already just kind of ran that prompt because I don't want this view. I want a square cake. I'm going to use that as a reference. Mm. So that's just, again, nice. just another use case. You generate this and you have a square, I like a good starting point, and then I start to riff off of this. How can we use this? Again, it's still the idea of like, this is the basic structure. So I'm going to use that as a structure reference. I'll go in here. I already have it loaded up. So there's my little statue. Again, 3D model in the position that I want. And then we'll take that and we'll just do, again, something surreal, psychedelic, colorful. So like here, look, look at this. I would take that, I would I would download it and then start to use it like in my design. So we'll go back in there and then just start to composite that. Zip, zip, drop that in there. Layer mask, option, click, B for brush. Then it's like, ooh, ooh, reveals, fun. <laughs> look at how, how it matched it up. Look at that. But yeah, I definitely recommend trying the new structure reference and uh, style reference is already there, but using those in combination and playing with those will just help you to get to like that next level yeah. of control with your designs. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us.